sorry, 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 sorry. I know. Feel too good, sorry. You hear so many stories about having it, and I was just thinking this is way worse than I imagined it to be. I thought I was just waking up and you know having needing a breath from waking up so I called my mom back again and I was like yeah I'm, I'm having trouble breathing it felt like I was getting too much air in but letting go of the air felt like the air was trapped she told me she she was so winded that she had a hard time walking so at that point I was Staying calm, but I gave my keys to the boss and I said, listen, I'm going early to lunch. I don't know if I'll be back. By the time I got home, I asked her to walk and she was so lethargic, so weak, she could barely stand up. The sedative did help because when you feel like you can't breathe, you're like, oh my God, I can't breathe, which makes it even worse. Breathe, breathe. Okay, one more. Sorry, 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 sorry. I know, sorry. That's a key one, I'm sorry. Felt like weights were sitting right here on my chest. Like I could not get barely any air in. I had the biggest headache. It felt like my head was like a hot air balloon. I was just gonna explode. But I was like, I don't wanna go back if we don't have to, you know what I mean? The coronavirus doesn't care how old you are. It will infect the young as well as the old. It, uh, age just doesn't matter and so um, I think it's important that young people know that. The trip to the hospital the second time was heartbreaking. She had no energy, she couldn't breathe and what I do recall is her telling me she wants her dad. I wish my dad was here. Her dad passed away 10 years ago this month. I've never heard her say that, so my heart was, I was really alarmed at that. I was, I was just, inside I was dying. And then, she told me also on the way that she wanted her grandfather. And her grandfather died the same day her dad died five years later. So I told her, I said, they're here, they're with you. They're looking out for you. And she said, it's not the same. I, I wish they were here. I really need them to be here. I think it was a bit of different medication than what I'd previously been taking, but they were just giving me the medication and it started fully kicking in. So since they saw improvements and stuff, they decided, okay, so we're just gonna continue all this at home. I still feel kind of weak, but we did talk to my doctor and um, he said it's gonna take about five to six weeks to even feel normal from this. but. Overall, I feel way better than when I left the hospital. Um, my breathing has been fine. I'm just kind of still kind of weak, you know what I mean? But I can still do stuff. I received a letter via email from the Southern Nevada Health District, and Katie has actually been cleared to resume complete normal activities today, not oh, tomorrow. Oh my gosh. So I wanted to share that with you guys together, okay. providing, you know, if she's weak or whatever, I'll keep her in, but she can, she actually can put a mask on 
and go to do a drive through and she can go and get her Dutch brothers. So I think she's going to be really happy about that.